let's go to the next important part that is the optional paper so kpsc uh, gives you a choice uh, around 20 there are around 20 to 25 different optional subjects that you can choose from i chose anthropology as a subject so just like the essay even this paper is very important in deciding your score and the position that, and your rank okay so nearly 28.5 percent of the mains marks comes from the to get as much much marks from this section okay so you'll be writing two papers each of 250 each so that sums up to 500 okay and this is the area of high scoring area so make sure that you uh, dig in a bit more deep choose the area of your expertise so the next paper is the general studies paper okay the general studies paper spans over four papers general studies one two three and four okay so here also there are different topics that are there okay with respect to both karnataka and india that are mentioned in the slide okay so this paper is also in subjective in nature so know the right syllabus find the right resources practice revise and repeat the process okay okay so this is pretty much about the mains examination okay a sum total a good, good total will make you reach the personality test that is the last stage wherein uh, they will be looking out for your different personality officer like personality traits okay so when i said uh, preparing for this examination what i even mean is uh, having the right uh, book list and the book strategy okay in the such in space the first stage that i told so the first stage of preparation should be choosing the right resources okay at the right time okay so let's divide that into static part as well as the dynamic part okay let's deal with each of this individually okay so when it comes to static part know the syllabus in and out find the right resources make use of uh, online platforms wherein you can make notes as well as connect information i used uh, onenote application and then keep them updated from time to time and then have this formula of practice revise and repeat the whole process on the screen you can uh, see the different resources that i used for different subjects i'll not go in detail and explain this so make use of this book list or else you can modify the book list and prepare according to your needs okay so this is pretty much with the static part okay then comes the next part that is the dynamic part okay next part is the dynamic part okay so when it comes to the dynamic part there are two things one is the uh, current affairs okay the, uh, when you say current affairs it deals with two things one is the news and other one is the issues news are small news snippets which come over a short period of time whereas issues are those prolonged news which run over a long period of time okay the best source for this is the newspaper so you can follow hindu newspaper as well as uh, indian express i used to read the editorials from these newspaper as well as uh, made uh, extensive new notes out of it I also refer to economic times newspaper along with this you can uh, aid your preparation by uh, uh, reading uh, monthly current affairs magazine like the one i have mentioned such as the vision after that uh, you need to make extensive use of the internet so whatever uh, the thing is uh, make sure that you use the internet to the fullest use google for whatever help you need okay then uh, after that uh, you can refer to the standard uh, government websites uh, on the screen you can see ministry of uh, environment forest and climate change you can look into different schemes that are there also i have shown uh, a snap of wikipedia so any ec doubts in economy subject you can refer to this website okay then uh, after that you can also look watch out for uh, uh, shows on uh, rajya sabha tv like the big picture india world and etc all those etc uh, well they'll be discussing about the issues that are there in news uh, along with this you can make use of uh, online platforms uh, such as an academy and other uh, youtube channels which can aid uh, in your preparation so along with this uh, the most important thing that you need to be uh, careful while making use of the internet is how you use them okay so you need to be uh, right in choosing the right resources as well as do, uh, to, to make sure that you don't waste much of this time so okay even while using social media you can use that to aid your examination for example in the next slide uh, i have i have shown how uh, you can use twitter you can follow eminent personalities civil servants as well as the handles twitter handles from different ministries wherein they keep updating the different schemes or the projects which you can again use back in the examination okay so this is pretty much it with respect to the first phase that is the sachin phase okay so the next phase is the uh, virat phase okay wherein I, I deal with the practice part so practice is very important in this uh, in this there is a saying called as the he who sweats more in the training bleeds less in the war okay so 
uh, sweat as much more in the training okay train yourself uh, in a better way so so that you will be easily surpassing the different stages with respect to the prelims what you can do is once you have read the whole syllabus uh, once you have read the whole syllabus uh, uh, look into uh, join in a good test series solve as many uh, as many uh, mcqs as possible evaluate yourself say for example in the slide you can see uh, a graph sheet wherein i have marked whatever scores i have got so by analyzing those results you can move further okay so this is for the prelim stage okay next is the main stage so in the main stage uh, answer writing is the core of uh, the whole preparation so you need to be ready with you need to have a proper framework for writing main answers uh, okay so here is a snap from that i used during my preparation stage so your main answer must uh, have three main components that is introduction the content as well as the conclusion okay the introduction could be a simple definition of whatever concept that has been asked the content part must uh, answer what is the requirement of the uh, requirement of the question and then the conclusion part must be what what is uh, giving a positive outlook up to what the uh, question was asked okay so you uh, if you address all these three stages properly your scores will be aided okay. this is the personality test stage okay wherein uh, there are different things that you need to look into okay one most important thing that you they are expecting from your personality stage is how well you know about yourself okay so you will be given a form called as detailed application form or the daf form okay wherein you will put all your data in uh, wherein you will uh, mention about the education qualifications that you have then your job profile etc so you need to know when well about yourself know about your native place and if you have participated in any sports activities co curricular activities you need to mention those okay and the next stage the next thing that you will be looking out uh, is uh, for both from the static part as well as the dynamic part so be well versed with the current affairs that is happening in and around you at all the three levels the state the national as well as the international level uh, then uh, also prepare uh, from your optional point of view whatever things that are in news for example when it comes to anthropology say the tribes that are in news or else uh, the issues the, that are in uh, recent news for example the forest fire attacks or many other things okay so once well uh, you're done well in the second stage that is the virat kohli stage then the you'll be left with the final stage that is the implementation stage okay so no matter how well you have know the syllabus no matter how many hours you have put into preparation no matter how well you have practiced at the end of the day it all boils down to what you do in those 3 hours of time or the 30 minutes of the interview okay so just like ms dhoni keep yourself cool try to attend as many questions as possible uh, try to answer all the parts of the questions so try to give in all the perspectives or the view points then uh, make use of uh, several tools such as graphs examples and case study case studies and uh, if possible try to show your creati creativity at your best okay so so this is pretty much it so uh what what i followed so sachin phase virat phase and the ms dhoni phase so once i use this strategy uh at all the three stages of the examination the prelims mains and the examination so finally uh the result of this examination came and i got uh, rank 4 and i've been assigned the post of um, assistant commissioner in revenue department uh so keep trying and uh, try keep trying and make sure that uh, your goals are uh, goals are very high. make sure that uh, uh, you give back to the society so from more than whatever you have taken from the society and uh, keep trying make use of online platforms such as an academy which has been really helpful for during my preparation time as well so uh, they are they are revolutionizing education using technology as a very important tool so make use of this opportunity at an academy make the best use of internet as well along with that focus on the examination so i uh, i would like to thank the whole an academy team for giving me this opportunity for uh, sharing my thoughts and views uh, with respect to this examination i wish uh, all the best for the uh, coming of aspirants for this examination and uh, yes i would like to end the and and this by saying that uh, upsc or kpsc gives you limited amount of attempts such as 5 or 6 attempts for clearing this examination but life gives you a million and a billion opportunities that you can uh, make use or uh, to give back to the society so prepare well for this examination and uh, keep moving keep trying thank you